What's up everybody, welcome back or to the channel. Do you happen to own a fifth gen Ram 1500 and you're looking to get the back seat of your rear cab to fold down, but your particular model does not have that capability? Well, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so this right here is a 2021 Ram 1500 crew cab. This is the big horn edition and it did come with the factory cloth seats. Now I'm working on upgrading my seats with leather seat covers, and I found out that my rear seats do not fold down. They fold up, but they don't actually fold down in the back. So in order to properly put my seat covers on, I have to unbolt the seats to get the rear seat to tilt forward so that I could actually strap in my leather seat covers behind the back part here. But once I did that, I realized that the brackets that hold the back seat to the back of the cab are similar to the fourth gen Ram 2500. So a few years back, I had a 2016 Ram 2500 where I did this modification to and it worked out great. So let me show you exactly what I did. So as you can see here, the rear seat does not pull forward. Now on some of the higher trim models of the Ram 1500, it actually has this center section here that could fold down and then you could reach behind and grab a little rope pull the rope and then the seats flip down but if you happen to have a lower trim model like this big horn you don't have that capability so in order to do that we have to do a little modification to the back seat brackets so let me go show you over here real quick okay so now we're on the driver's side over here now as you can see here the rear seat does not come down now i can still fold my headrest down by pressing this little side button fold it down like that but the rear seat does not come down but once you do this bracket modification this is what you could do you lift your seat up so far now you can actually drop your back seat down and this is all it is you see those brackets right here now it's a plastic cover on top of a metal bracket but when you lift this seat up that bracket slides up a little bit but it stays attached when you lift the seat all the way up you see how that bracket slides up to about right there but when you put the seat down the bracket slides back down into position and stays locked so what you need to do is basically start with one of your seats and unbolt the bottom there's four bolts okay there's two of these smaller bolts here now these ones here are a star pattern which i just used a little 3 8 wrench like this and it was able to get on there and loosen it up so you're going to have two of the small bolts at the bottom and then two larger bolts way in the back, which I was just using, let's see here, a 18 millimeter socket to take those off. So once you start on one seat, you're gonna lift the whole seat up. And then once you lift the whole seat up, you're gonna start with one of your brackets, which I started on the smaller portion here. So what you wanna do is take note of when you lift this seat up, where does that bracket stop? Which I'd say about right there. And then what you wanna do is come down here and measure from the top of the bracket down and then just take a cutting wheel and cut off this little portion right here that way when it's cut shorter when you drop it down it drops down and locks okay because you're going to cut yours about right here so when you lift this up like that as soon as you get to about there that white bracket is actually lifted up above this black bracket so when you're just about that angle you go ahead and pull your seat forward just like i did on this seat so if i take a measuring tape and just measure from the bottom of where I cut it off at to the top, it's about two and three quarters, give or take, okay? But just go ahead and use your judgment, lift that seat up about right there, and then just take a measurement or use a black marker and mark on that white cap right here, mark right at the edge of there, okay? So that way when you lift the seat up, it's above this black bar, and then just go ahead and cut it off. But again, after I cut mine off, as you can see here, it is real close to two and three quarters. Now to shut it, you lift your seat up, lift the bottom seat up so far, the back seat pushes in, push your bottom seat back down, you're locked in, you're good to go. Now just be careful doing this because if you cut that bracket too short, it won't lock. But if you pay attention to the other seat, before you cut this seat, just mark that bracket of how much you need to cut off because you just need to cut off just enough that when your seat's lifted up, you're cutting off just enough to where that seat bracket on the back is just above that black bracket. 
but there's definitely enough length left so when you push the back seat back and drop your seat down it'll drop down and latch in and i'll show you that here in a minute so let me go ahead and unbolt this seat here we're going to lift it forward and then i'm going to cut my brackets over there to show you how i do it so i'll be right back in a minute okay so i just went ahead and took the four bolts out from the seat you have to lift the seat up a little bit because there's these little pegs that fall into this little groove right here so you have to lift the seat up and then fold it forward so it's just like this but if you look over here you see how much of that bracket is hanging down below that black bracket so i wanted to show you that so that you can see when that seat is lifted up and drops into position there's plenty of bracket left to hold that seat locked into the back of this cab so that seat is not going to go anywhere so now all i have to do is take a measurement of about from the top of that bracket like this okay i'm just doing this for demonstration here because i'm using my one hand to hold the camera but i'm just going to come down and measure about two and three quarters which would be right about here okay so I'll go ahead and measure that down about two and three quarters, and then I'm just gonna use my grinding wheel and cut straight down. Now I'm only cutting straight down through the metal and through this piece of plastic right here, not the bottom. Now just be careful doing this, because if you misjudge, you're gonna cut right through and cut the back of your seat, which again, not a big deal, no one's gonna see it, but just be careful when you're cutting down through here. Once you get past that metal, that grinding wheel is gonna go real quick through this plastic piece that's here. So just cut that little bit off, and then you'll be good to go. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, I just cut that little chunk off right there. And I used a little marker and I measured it. So now I'm about two and three quarters. So as you can see here, I took my measuring tape and I measured down about two and three quarters. Use my marker, put a little mark there, use my wire wheel to cut that off. I have this side marked right there with a the marker. So all I gotta do is cut that off. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our seat back into position, bolt it down, and then this should work. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're done. So I ended up getting my last seat cover put on. Everything's done. The rear seat modification is complete. Again, the seat is not coming forward until I lift it up and pull it forward. Now we're good to go. Now when I want to lock it back up, I lift it up. You see how it hits? You have to lift it up, then lift your seat, which lifts the back up into place. When you drop the seat, it locks back down. We're all good to go. So now this modification is done, and now I can go ahead and lower the back portion of my rear seats on my 2021 Ram 1500. So there you go, everybody. So if you happen to have a 5th gen Ram 1500 and your rear seats do not fold down by factory, you could go ahead and do this modification to your truck. Just be careful doing it, but it does work if you measure it correctly. But as you can see here, it works perfectly, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and like this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. I truly appreciate you all. And as always, see you in the next video.